Okay. Uh, we back with Jubilee. Jubilee. And we with some more influencers. Influencers. Influ. Hencers. Hence the flu. Hen the. Okay. Who's making the most money? We're going to find out who's making the most money. Let's get it, man. Let's get it, man. I know you, give me, you give me like so bougie looks. looks. I will like, put you in the front. I agree. Actually. Yeah. 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 I'm going to shoot down like you. So. I disagree. I personally believe you probably make $1 billion. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I was going to say this. Yo, this dude right here investing in crypto. Don't he all? He invests in crypto. Same thing. He gives me ga maybe gamer. Yeah, let's. I'm going to put him in the middle. He's oh. still mentally here for me. I feel like your shoes, Rhea, are kind of expensive. I can't tell if it's like a knockoff. I'll be pocket. I mean, I could, you know, do this all day, but like. 200 to 300 dollars. You give me like, um, you have like a million followers on Instagram and you do like model shoots every single day, like fashion. Oh, is that, is that, is that what it's giving? Really? That, that's what it's giving? Okay. okay. <laughs> I want to put her in the middle. What's your name over there? Grace. I don't know. You give me like the vibe that you have. You make a lot of money like selling cookies with your <laughs> nice or like sweaters on Etsy or like something. Sweet, very sweet. Yeah, yeah very like sweet. Vibes. And you have a fun TikTok. TikTok. So. I and we know just by your build, you do OnlyFans. Make your money, sweetheart. Do what you do. But you want to be like you want to be a loud mouth talking about. <sighs> but you want to be a loud mouth talking about some. You make money off of making cookies. Like that was that was a that was a very feminine way of like shooting her business down. You dig what I'm saying? Even if she do actually do that. You get me? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't rock with that. I think you are like oh. That's like them members saying, How's your little business going? How's your business how's your little business going? Man, f you. Over here. Over here, yeah. I like this. I kinda like it. I'm cool with this too. You think this makes sense? He being modest. I'm gonna disagree. I think Rhea should be one more. He being modest right here. Homeboy, he being modest. Put Josh like further right in front up. of me like, maybe? Yeah, maybe between you two. Yeah, I agree. I would be good right here. Josh, no, no, Josh, no, on, Josh. Come Josh, on. where's your sweater from? H&M. H&M. Okay. Um, but H&M's like a classic though. Like I know a lot of guys who wear like only H&M but they make a- Guys, stop being so one track minded. Do not base people's income off of what they're wearing, you geeks. I know y'all in Cali. I know this is y'all's train of thought. If y'all see somebody with Yeezys and a Tory Burch purse on or a Gucci purse, y'all are automatically placing them in the forefront of income earners. No, it's, that's not how it works. Good money. Well, it's because like a lot of girls wear Fashion Nova, but they're wearing like $1,000 shoes. Yeah. True. So, I don't hate this lineup. She look like Adele. I, I kind of think it's... You think this is the lineup? Okay. She look like Adele. Make TikTok videos about like tech reviews and tech stuff. Oh, that's money. I run a couple businesses from it. What kind of tech Ooh. businesses? Like laptops, computers? Like type on keyboards. I make like custom ones. Ooh. Um, and I also Teddy! Hit up JB the fam. Hit up Just Be Simple on Instagram. Trust and believe, baby. We can get shit popping with the goddamn TikTok. Come on now. So now I'm getting Come on, ready. Teddy Graham. I design this hoodie. I feel like you're great with money, so mm -hmm. even if you maybe Facts. technically didn't like bring in as much as some other of us a couple years ago, you maybe have grown it more because you're probably very smart. I'm sure you're investing. I feel like you absolutely I think go higher up. up. How many TikTok accounts do you have? Three that have done well. You should Second. take my side. Ah, over here. Yeah. He ain't saying, look, 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 look. If he say the number, it's gonna get him a little horny in the pants. Uh, I would I would put you like second. Let's do second. Tech is a lot. Second. Of Plus you have all those other income streams on top of it. Too. Yeah. So I teach people how to be content creators, but I'm also a Twitch streamer. Do you sell a course? I was just about to ask. Ah, uh, I don't sell a course because I believe in like making education free for people. So I don't like paywalling info. How do you mm. make your income um, without the ads? 
So I get $2.50 for every sub that I get. That's like one way that I make my money and TikTok sponsorships yeah. mainly. And I also have like Instagram and YouTube and stuff, but they're like really small. And those are two pretty lucrative platforms, but also you have a lot of morals, which makes me think you don't make as much money. <laughs> you haven't sold your soul. Yeah, yeah I mean, that with the LA rent rising though. <laughs> I still yeah. don't think you should be last, though. Like, I don't feel like she... Well, you need to get out of L.A. Yeah, yeah. Be I smart. I keep myself down I here. I like, <laughs> bring her here. <laughs> uh, so I do a few different things. Uh, um, and I'm going to be honest, y'all. Talking about your income in front of, like, different people and, like, you know, building something, especially when you're building something and you're not, like, at, you know, at the, at the, at your peak or in your prime, it's, it, it is pretty, you know, right? My big one is I am a sex educator. So I host a podcast. We just launched the third season. So I've been doing that since 2019. Uh, and I do sex education content on my Instagram as well as on my TikTok. And then I also upload all the podcast episodes to my YouTube channel. Ooh, I YouTube don't. Angie's been doing it for three years. Really? But my, my one caveat is sex education, which in terms of making money through sponsorships, not many companies would want to unfortunately work with a sex educator, even though I think it's like a cool and thing. And it's harder to get ad revenue because yeah. um, I'm constantly, you know, working Shadowing. through bands mm -hmm. and things like that. How are you making most of your money though? Through all of those, as well as OnlyFans. Ooh, but OnlyFans makes money. Yeah. <sighs> GG's everybody. Use this card, bro. Yo, you fucking suck, nigga. Shut up, bitch. They should call for 2023. They should re, they should remake this. They, they should remake that site and call it Only Men's because Only Men's is paying for you to show your ass and show your tongue, literally and figuratively. But I guess that's still equivalent to a fan because women do see men who pay for the pie and pay for the attention of a pie as a fan. Yeah, mm. OnlyFans have such an uncapped potential. I would put you up here. Third? Third? Like top three for yeah. sure. Okay. All right, so uh, I make like content just around like money and I try and teach Gen Z uh, good like money habits with short little funny videos. Finance uh, makes so much money because not yeah. only do they push it, but you also get so many sponsorships, especially from YouTube. Are you on YouTube or are you on primarily TikTok? It, it goes like in this order, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube stuff. I feel like those videos also, especially in the way you do them with comedy are super shareable. Like those are the kind of TikToks that end up on Reels, they end up on Facebook. I would put you- That's on, very true. Definitely finance. Yeah. Finance is such a lucrative niche. I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Okay, Why did he? I, they, they, I knew it. I knew I. Could I would have moved him like I one or two more spots. Stuff, like secondhand fashion, vintage stuff, and lifestyle. What do you sell? Uh, I don't really anymore. I started like my TikTok promoting my online vintage shop, and that's how I became a TikToker. And now I just like do fashion stuff. Do you do it full time? Yeah. Just so your stuff. revenue comes from sponsors. Yeah, it's like all social media now. I don't know. Fashion makes like no money that's unless true. you're a thin white woman. So. <laughs> <laughs> She's a thin white woman, so. Being plus size in the social media industry is definitely been hard. There's visibly fat plus size people, and then there's people with the quintessential perfect curves. Like almost, unfortunately, how plus size are you? If you do lifestyle, but you're a small creator, you get nothing. Like they yeah, literally yeah. only gifting campaigns, and then like even then they gaslight you into feeling like you should be grateful for it. Yeah, absolutely. But I cannot be around people like this. This is, this is actually like, Whew. Lowering my frequency as I'm listening to this, but given I'm guessing this is what they you do. Sound like you're a very large creator, and because like all they do is scroll <laughs> and watch and compare. They're they're doing OnlyFans and podcasting and sex education and investing in all this other. Sh but trust me when I say, bro, they spend a lot of time scrolling and comparing and talking and just yapping them gums. <laughs> Telling you. Oh, don't do that. Yeah. I'm also. This is like my first year doing this. Yeah, I'd I say, I'd say right here. I don't me. think I make more than you. 
We, we still have time to switch. Let's try it. Okay, so I... Um, Look how she's standing. Model, kinda... So everything I do is pretty much lifestyle around that. And it's been my full-time job for about four years now. I have Damn. my own cannabis and sexual wellness podcast. So I do that separately. I also have my own consultation and coaching business where I teach aspiring plus size models. So I have an online course that's a master class that I do quarterly. And then I also have a blog separately that I post on one to at least once a week and the ad marketing is just starting on my blog so it's not too far in there but I'm very familiar with ad marketing and revenues have a, a lot I will put you okay stop stop I gotta say something it's gonna be a hot take get ready I'm going to the big screen for this it's gonna be a hot take salute to her by no means do I have any hate in my heart to anybody who's making money and as they say making a living she just said she has a consultation. Guys, she has a consultation for other women to be plus size models. What? Hey, guys. I'm fat as shit. More, ooh, I'm, I'm, I'm being vulgar right now. Okay. <clears throat> come down, JV. Come down a little bit. More fat dudes. Y'all come over here and I'm going to teach y'all how to continue to be fat and get on a magazine. But you're still fat. And you will die quicker. But pay me to be fat. And pay Uber Eats too and DoorDash. What? What? Guys, if you live in Cali, get out. If you live in New York, get out. These people are not real people. Yes, they make the whatever they can, but they're not real people. My energy is lowering because I'm listening to these people talk about what they do and their money and they did. God. All right. First. Like, my bad, yeah. right, my you bad, my bad. Streams of income. So many streams of income. Yeah. You just seem very, very knowledgeable. But who said that it's streaming though? Yes, I also do YouTube, I also do Instagram. Um, my main stream of income though is TikTok, not specifically from ad revenue, but I make like seven to 10 TikToks and I just like pump out as many reels of me as I A can. A day? Yes, with, wow. different, with different captions and I just lead it back to. Yeah, because ladies know these chicks know, especially OnlyFans chicks, just being real, they know that they are the content. Y'all, everybody wants to be a quote-unquote influencer. And 99% of them are content copiers. They're just copying shit all over again. I'm telling you. That's what they're doing. They're just copying. They have no extra personality, extracurricular advice, knowledge, insight, detailed. In, no, nothing. It's, it's nothing. It's nothing. It's very thin. Their personality is very thin. But they know their best bet is to sell themselves in the most widest way possible. Meaning, they are the content. That's for, any, that's for anybody, but they are the content. Their body, that's what she does. She finds the newest trends that will elude to her showing the least amount of skin. And she puts it out. It's easy when you are the content. When you are the walking billboard. You are... <laughs> the walking piece of meat. But I hope she won't get mad whenever dudes only use her for what she puts out. My OnlyFans, but I do, I make a lot of memes. That's like my kind of like niche. I yeah, because you're a walking meme. I'm, guys, my bad. Am I, was that too harsh? Was that too harsh? Yes or no? Was that too harsh? She's a walking meme. Look, at, I mean, God, shit. Okay, I'm gonna just continue. Do you have a billboard in WeHo? <laughs> yeah, I do. I do have a billboard in WeHo. I saw that. Okay. Yeah. Billboard in WeHo? <laughs> you can't make this up. I don't know this. Excuse my. I don't know her from a can of paint, and I just. <laughs> These niggas not shit. Yeah, I do. I do have a billboard in WeHo. I saw that. Okay. Yeah. You take sponsorships? No, I'm a sex worker, so they don't, sponsors don't want 
me or my face to represent their brand. The only reason I get away with that is because I also am a sex educator. So, yeah. but it's it, I completely understand the second they hear that you have any sort of like OnlyFans. She a celebrity. Yeah. I don't know her. Seven times. Yes. Where do you rank? Like, what's your percentage on OnlyFans? I'm zero point zero one percent. Okay. Mm -hmm. no. I'll see you guys later. This bitch just said 0.01. This bitch just said 0.01. That's like a man being in a 0.001% and he's tall. He makes more than a he makes more than $200,000 annually. He has a big piece, nice smile. He's tall. That's a tall. He's tall. He's strong. He's built. Oh. I hope you guys are learning. I hope you guys are learning. This is beyond me. All right, what? Number one. <laughs> Number Not the one. switch. Absolutely. This is beyond me. Oh my goodness. How many guys have you been with? Um, I used to do parties and I would get for like 50 dudes a night. Okay, so what? A video that goes viral. What? 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 How many? <sighs> I got a headache, guys. This is... Viral. I mean, there's, yeah. there's no doubt about it. That video has millions. Go back. So you've been with. Um, I used to... Absolutely. How many guys have you been with? Um, I used to do parties and I would get for like 50 dudes a night. Okay, so you're on No Jumper. Yeah. I've That's the kind of video that goes viral. I mean, there's yeah. there's no doubt about it. That video has millions of views. So my photo is a photo of Hey! Me. So I'm- It's a beautiful photo. My butt's involved. Bitch, don't tell me that you model if you ain't been involved. Hey, got a dog body for my day. Hey! Wait, stop. I'm not, no, I'm not going over you with Dale. Uh-uh, wait a minute. So, this what you're promoting? Vogue. Does Vogue pay a lot? It's almost kind of like. Look, 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 look at their talk. Look at their like slick ass undertone. Does Vogue like? Okay, I know it's Vogue, bitch. But like, does Vogue really pay the bills, bitch? Like, bitch, like, bitch. <laughs> Cause I'm top one zero zero point one with fifty gang bangs on my catalog, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Fuck you. Excuse God, I need to stop Chris. Need to stop Chris. Like being a Playboy centerfold in a sense of like it's an honor. Okay. Congrats on your new baby. Insert cash or select payment oh, type. Funny. Use pin pad to complete transaction. I'm sorry, what? The average cost of childbirth and pregnancy <laughs> care in the US is $6,940. Stop. They're not even paying attention. Their attention span is the size of a fucking grain of salt. They don't, they don't, oh my God, 13K, 16, oh, that's too, that's too many words, that's too many numbers, oh my gosh, oh my God. With health insurance or $13,000 without, and it can vary wildly. This is going to be a crazy video to upload. <laughs> this is my dad, and this is his at-home work setup. He hates it. So today, I'm going to try to fix it. I'm going to first add a custom keyboard I built for him and a mouse. And then we're gonna go ahead and give him the Fofo triple monitor Season laptop adapter. This is gonna turn a single oh. laptop screen into a triple monitor I adapter. See that. I do a lot of get ready with me. Instagram picture. And I wanna stay on this monitor. So this is a wrap. It kind of stinks. Is it these bell bottoms? Bro, I swear, everybody, everybody wanna be an influencer pro. I mean, I guess it's, it's, it depends. It just it depends. Wait, I love the fit. Yeah. That's pretty much what I Oh do. my god, Got that's it. so cute. Our noses smushed up against our kissing partner's face is actually opening up our nostrils and making their pheromones more obvious to us. And whether you realize it or not, your body will actually react to that person's pheromones and can make you more attracted to them if your body thinks they're a good biological match. Man, what the hell do you know about any sex education? Where is your man? Where is your man at? Can you get close to a man and he not feel your stench? He not smell your B.O.? I mean, 
What, 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 what do you know? Because last time I checked with some actual real people, it's what you call intimacy. It's what you call intellect. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? The biochemistry of the nose touching it. Shut up. Your nose is fake. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going in too hard, I think. I think I'm being a little too harsh. I'm, I'm going to just dial it back just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. I would kiss That's woke. <laughs> just a little bit. That's websites for Twitch streamers. That's woke, Twitch she said. A That's a woke, that she said. your stream data. It'll show you the max viewers, follower gains, and the amount of hours you stream per stream. They also have a very nice graph showing your average viewer count and the amount you streamed. And cool stats like average viewer count per day. Yeah, so I'm that's like similar to the type of content. Like no, you're not. That's it. I'm doing OnlyFans and I'm slanging. I'm slanging it. All 2023, I'm slanging it. And I'm putting my face all in the thing. Don't care. Yeah, Holla back at your boy. I feel like I should go down on the tech men. I feel the like tech men should I want to up. put, I think your name is Teddy. Yo, Moolah, what up, girl? Second, because I saw that. You're not harsh ad. enough. Tech I think you're right, too. That ad was really well edited. I'm pretty sure companies will see that and be like, I want, I want to go and sponsor him again. But I'll put you second. I right put now. you second. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. I want to hear the goddamn numbers. Follower count. But followers. The. Wait. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. Wait. 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 Stop this. Wait. 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 Let me say this first off, guys. Followers does not equate to money, just so y'all know. So all this cap ass shit, it, it does not equate, but okay. Because most people don't know how to push that. Okay, okay, let me let me, let me see. I'm about to dissect this shit. I'm finna get real rowdy. Do you guys feel like numbers, like the follower count matters? No. Oh, hell no. Absolutely, Absolutely not. not. One thing I'd like I, to I, I Smurf, I'm about to see. Dep depending what I was thinking about, no, Mula, don't. Quadruple the following I do and 10 times the engagement, and I make three times as much as she does because of the quality and I sell usage rights so people can use it as ads. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think, I think, yeah, I think, yeah, I would put I'm second. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How many hours do you guys work? I work every day. A lot. Yeah. Like this week I worked like, four 18 hour days at minimum there's no day where i'm working le like almost every single day where i'm working less than five hours uh, what you get a sony camera you put it on a tripod put the flash on and take a picture of your butt i mean i'm i'm i'm, I'm, I'm not least. i'm not trying to diminish what they were saying like it is hard work and like when she was talking about like Oh, like work doesn't end, but like it's like it does. You can go get a movie and like sit in your bed and scroll emails. It's not the same as like being expected to be somewhere and like be a slave all day and be off your phone. Like you're not a person when you're at work, but like you're a person when you're doing this job. It's hard to when you do a job like this because at first I was like, oh, I don't actually, you know, work that many hours. But then you, it's like the second I wake up, I'm checking and I'm deciding what I'm going to yeah, do that day. Yeah, it's and the actually, second I actually go to bed all the day. Yeah, yeah. It's like how do you decipher what's yeah, work and so what's not? Yeah, so it's hard when you're not doing it. Like I'm maybe not working four hours straight because I'll stop and I'm, I have the privilege of being able to grab lunch with friends or shop in the middle of the day or like do whatever I do. But that doesn't mean I'm not constantly, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. working in some capacity. And then like so weekends it's hard to don't know. exist. Right. Exactly. Yeah. 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 There's really no days off. How was your come up? Because I started with gaming content and then I transitioned into education. I did too. Like when, oh my God, love gaming. But um, like, especially as like a female gamer who was trying to do content, I got memed on so much. Everyone's like, oh my God, you're such an e-girl. Like, yeah, a, like ABG e-girl e -girl aesthetic. Haha, you suck at the game we anyway. And now it's in. Dude, and now I, it's like I know, aesthetic. and now it's cool, right? What year were you doing that? Uh, but were they lying though, Miss Ma'am? Were they lying? <laughs> like, 2018, 2019. Okay. I was doing it in 2011. Oh. To be a female YouTuber in a male dominated space in 2011 was traumatizing. Brutal. I have a question for you, Josh. Do you feel like you have to work? But selling ass and selling feet in 2023 amongst a whole lot of other fake ass women selling to uh, robot men and beta men, that works too, right? Yeah, to kill us. Yeah, thanks. 
harder or um, fight for what you're worth as a black man? I don't know if I necessarily have to fight harder, but it is a little bit harder to stand out and like, get people to take you seriously. It's actually one of the reasons that uh, I've signed with like a management agency that only represents black creators. Oh, okay. Uh, I love that. Yeah, so just feel like a you know like a small family and you know I know they're like out there fighting to get like what's best for yeah, me. Yeah, I get it. Salute, so homie. So helpful because I've run into other black creators that have like my similar following and a similar niche. I mean, they're earning way less, and there's so much more money out there that they're just not getting, mostly because they don't know exactly what they're worth. I don't know. This looks like it makes sense. I feel like it doesn't. I feel like I need to go yeah, I down wanna, one I or two. I want to move down. I feel like with the YouTube AdSense, maybe I would switch this. I think we should, maybe. We should switch. And Josh, you have a manager. I don't. I think you're. Okay, but I want to. I want to say this though. They do I have. I have a modeling agency, and 80 percent of the work that I get, I get myself. That's fair. It's more about him getting one. I don't feel the need for one because I don't think I'm getting as many maybe as he is. Interesting. That's just my take. You have what's, multiple businesses. What's your I like him. I like I like buddy. For my business and it has seventy five thousand. Now I have employees and I don't really do anything. Oh, you have employees. I really don't think I should be here. I think he needs you to be a second. Oh, He's employees. I wanna, I wanna let's there. get to the moolah. Right, that makes sense or to me. Or like lower. How do we feel about this? This yeah, this looks like our final answer. I think okay. we can do this. All right, Black King. Let me see what's going on here. Spot, Teddy. <gasps> Teddy. A hundred. Okay, and mind you, mind you, y'all, wait, preface. They are in Cali. Their lifestyle's different, but okay. What? What? That was a shocker. No way. Six spot, Haley. Haley. Ooh. Six figure club. <laughs> Six spot. Cat, oh my goodness. Y'all, do the do the quick math. Divide that by 12. All right. I mean, but for Cali, it's really like, you know, it's is Yeah. It's good. Grace, 180 Nice. And the third spot, Josh, 275. Look at my nigga. Josh! Almost got 300 bones in a goddamn Cadillac. 300 bones in a goddamn thing whipping around. Tipping on four foes, ripped in four foes. Come on now. We are up here. And in the second spot, Rhea. Wow, so she's number one. Damn. <laughs> and what she just did, hold on, what was that? What was that little, what was that little emo she just did? And the first spot, Kazumi, Damn. Wait, 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 I gotta go. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Fortnite emo was that? One more time. I was trying to tell you about Kazumi, man. She made three mil a year. And I'm not finna pocket watch, but I am an intellect, so uh, you know, don't mind me. Don't mind me. Hold on. <laughs> but it comes at a price, though. Yeah, she makes more. Yeah, mm, I mean, whatever. It comes at a price. It comes at a price, but goodness gracious. People uh, hate when you make a lot of money in a non-traditional way, and they really hate when you make it off sex work. Yeah. So um, okay, I have to stop you. No, you see, God, it's these delusional ass chicks. You have, I'm, I'm, I'm oh, I was very, very nervous about the reaction. I am an anomaly and I don't represent what all sex workers make. I make a lot of money, but it is still something that you should- Leave her alone? Oh, nice, leave her alone. All right, okay, so all right, you a part of the problem then. You you right with her. So I'm gonna cast these stones on you too then. Woman power. Goddamn woman, she ain't finna get no man. She finna, she finna wish she took a pay cut. Man. 
Well, that's good. Love you, Jamie. Good night. Made a whole website Just don't go yourself. too hard. Oh, that took me like three months it wasn't on great. my blog to do. Yeah, when I was 19, I was homeless. So I am really proud of you and whatever you've done and the fact that you can employ people and, and do so many cool things with your life. I think there's an idea for sure, that the sure. is in people's heads. And I think it's usually like a airheaded person who just takes selfies or uses a Yeah, selfie. if you're in Cali, yeah. I understand. I think yeah. maybe the nuance. Like I was kind of weird coming into it because I grew up really poor and like $180,000 is like so much money to me. I like, I would be happy making the amount of money I make right now for the rest of my life. And I feel like everyone gets into Damn it. Damn right. You know, Good job, girl. girl. That's right. And that's probably where it becomes like Making insane, six so. figures, doing what you want to do and love whatever. The, man, what? Come on now. Hey, this was, this was really informative. Kazumi, I will not be looking you up. I don't, I'm glad I don't know you. I'm not going to get to know you, but salute to you. Uh, I mean, y'all, but did y'all hear how she said she was doing a, uh, <clears throat> you know how those rappers be saying gang, gang, gang. And then when they shoot the gun, what's that called? The bang, bang, right? So she was doing those every night and having intercourse with 50 dudes a night, five, zero. That's 10 dudes, five times. That's 25 groups of dudes twice. <laughs> That's a group of 30 dudes and then a group of 20. That's 15 dudes, 15 dudes. Fi Y'all get the gist. But yeah, salute, salute to them.